Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 26 of the 2024 released start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, we will look at our answers together. So Nancy's mom drove 106 and 3,500 miles. Well, that's going to be important. And they give it to us in word form. All right, so then they're asking us, how is that number of miles that she drove written in expanded notation? So we need to go from word form to expanded notation. I think it's probably going to be best if we switch from word form into standard form. Standard form is just writing with numbers and digits. That's how we originally learned how to write numbers and quantities. We go from word form to standard form, then expanded notation. All right, so let's see if we can figure this one out. I'm going to build a place value chart down here. Put a big line here to separate my decimals here. And we know that I've got two digits that I could use in fourth grade to the right of the decimal. All right, so I'm going to go and put the value there. This is one tenth. 0 0.1. 10, like think of the number 10, but it's got the th at the end. Tenth. So it's one tenth, or there's 10 of those that make one whole. And then I've got one hundredth, like 100. Got the th, and it takes 100 hundredths to make a whole. And then this is just going to be my regular ones. This is going to be my tens. And this is going to be my hundreds. I'm just going to stop there. I know I can go a lot larger if I need to. But the way it's written makes me think that might be as big as I need to go. So let's see if we can write this out. This word and is very important. When we put the word and in a word form, number, that always means decimal. So that's kind of our dividing line. And means decimal. We don't say dot. We don't say point. We say and, and that's going to be our decimal. So let's take the stuff that's before it. I'm going to put a decimal right here. And it says 106. 106. And, okay, so how do we write 106? Well, I've got one in the hundreds place. And then I just got six. And that six is going to be six ones. Looks like there's not any tens. All right, so let's... Let's go over this with a different color so it's a little bit easier to differentiate. I've got 106. Now, let's get into what happens afterwards. 35 hundredths. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit easier. So 35 is going to be easy for me to write. That's a 3 and a 5. And then the last word tells me where that final digit lands. And that final digit lands in the hundredths place. So it's going to be 35 hundredths, which means there's three tenths, five hundredths. All right, so I've got all this. I've got 100 right there, six, it's just six ones, and 35 hundredths. I don't have anything in the tens. So I'm going to put a zero there as a placeholder. All right, so now I've got my number in standard form, 106.35. How do I write this in expanded notation? Well, you see, my place value chart actually shows us, right? So we're going to write the digit first. I'll start with my hundreds. One times, and then its value. It's so one in the hundreds. Plus, I don't have any tens. Leave it blank. Six times its value. Six times one. Plus, I've got a three times its value. 0 0.1 plus 5 times its value, 0 0.01 or 5 hundredths. So there we go. Our answer is going to be B.